In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick crypto trading bot. I just click run right now to show you a quick example. As you can see, it says the order was placed. It shows the size. And you can see it here as well as in the active orders, but it just canceled because we had that in our bot as well. Crypto trading bots obviously can be really useful because they can be used to trade while you're sleeping and who wouldn't want that, right? Using a bot can also make you stick to your plan as opposed to emotional trading. First things first, I gotta show you how to actually execute an order. So we're gonna do some imports. You're gonna wanna make sure that you have Anaconda environment already installed on your system. We're gonna import CCXT. That's going to have everything that we're going to need to perform the trades. Basically, we're going to be using Femex to trade. We're going to import our key file. This has our API keys. I'm not showing all that. Now we're going to create a function that's basically going to pull our Femex account. As you can see, I'm passing my API key and my secret as variables. Now the the coin that I'm gonna trade is XRP. So yeah, let's put that symbol. The cost right now is a two, I'm, I'm gonna put 250. Let's say the size, we just wanna buy one. And we'll say the bid is also 250. Params. All right, so now let's write the code to actually perform the order. Order equals b dot. We're gonna do create limit by order. This is a function that's already built into CCXT. So that's actually a really cool thing about it. it already has really good functions that we could use. Gonna pass symbol size bid params. All right, now let's click run. See it work? You can see that it went through right there. Now let's say that we're gonna obviously wanna cancel our orders, right? So to cancel the order, We're going to do another function that's already built into CCXT. Cancel all orders. Symbol. Okay. Now let's comment out creating an order. And let's run this again. This is going to be to cancel all orders. As you can see, it went away. It's gone now. Now that we know how to create an order and cancel orders, I'm gonna show you how to make a really simple bot. I'm not saying this is gonna make you crazy money or anything. I'm just showing you a simple bot. All right, so we're gonna do go equals true for our loop. Then we're gonna do go just to, yeah. And then we're gonna define the actual bot. We have a try loop here and we're gonna do that order that we just did, right? In the order. Symbol. The reason I'm doing this type swap here is because I was having issues with my bot actually performing. So this type dash swap makes sure that it actually uses the correct account in Femix. So once that order is done, we're gonna print that the order has been made, right? I'm gonna copy this emoji, I'm not gonna lie, because I like the emoji. Bomb. All right. Made that print for the order place. 
this right here is to show the actual time that the order was placed and this is going to show the actual price and the size of the order all right now we have our set and yes yes i did get get these lines from chat gbt i'm not gonna lie it's nothing wrong with that y'all be trying to act like it's something wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that time sweep oh we did not import time so let me do that all right the time sweep obviously is so it can make five second pause you can play around with it and do however long you want it to be we have another try loop to cancel the orders Similar, then we're gonna do this type swap again. You feel me? We're gonna do another print, and we also want to show the time that the orders have been canceled, right? So, you know, we when you have that try, you know, you gotta have the accept. So, I can't even spell accept right now. We're gonna do schedule and. This is basically gonna, you can set this to whatever time you want, but we're doing this to run the bot a certain amount of time. So, yeah. We'll probably do like every 20 seconds or so, just, just for kicks. And okay. Just in case we have in this case you have any problems, sometimes you might have internet issues or your bot's just not running for some reason. Alright, so we have our bot. It should perform an order for us. Right, if it doesn't perform an order, it's going to say that it canceled. Or it's going to say that it failed, I'm tripping. And then after it performs it, five seconds are going to go by, then it's going to cancel the order, okay? So let's click run. All right, no errors. We can kind of just wait a few seconds. There you go. See, it says order submitted. You see the order is showing right there. Order canceled, right? And you can see it right here in the console. It says, whoops. It says when the order was placed, the time, and it says the time that it was canceled. It's gonna wait 28 seconds, or it's gonna wait 20 seconds, I'm tripping. It's gonna wait 20 seconds, see it waited 20 seconds before it performed another order, and then it just performed another cancel. So that's how you make a simple algorithmic crypto trading bot you obviously could play around with this, find different algorithms. It would be your job to find a good algorithm that can be profitable for you. But I hope you learned something today. And yeah, have fun with this. Stay safe. Peace.